Kia ora, ko Sharon Holt tō ko ingoa. I just thought I'd say a little bit about um, when as Pākehā we are put in the position of needing to find out um, what our maunga is, our awa, our waka, our marae, our iwi, our hapu and I've done many courses over the years starting in 2002 and have usually um, made for example my maunga has been the either where I was born in Auckland and at, at, at one stage I chose that one and it was the Rangi Toto because that's one that was nearish to where I was um, and we lived in Te Aroha and I at that stage was saying Te Aroha was my maunga and um, now we live in Hamilton and we can see Pirongia. So the course that I started doing this year, um, I was challenged really for the first time in lots of different courses that I've done over the years to really think about, well, why would I be changing my maunga? And um, the, the maunga for a Māori person is, is more to do with the place of their spiritual home not necessarily even somewhere where they personally have lived near. They might have visited, but they haven't necessarily lived there. So it's their kind of their ancestral home. And my Māori language teacher um, really challenged me about that because I was saying Pirongia and um, my awa didn't match up with that. <laughs> so your maunga and your awa need to match up. And so she said to me, well, I think you really need to um, do a little bit of research into your family history and see where is your spiritual home. And I'd never been challenged on that and I'd never done that before. And so I have been doing that and it's really interesting. It's been very interesting to um, do that. Obviously, there are, you know, two sides to the family and there's my mother's side and my father's side. And then the further you go back, there's more sides. But... Uh, many non-Māori people um, do have a, an ancestry back into somewhere in Europe and um, that's the case with me. And this would also be true of you if you are trying to work out your pepeha, your, um, some people call it a mihi, some people call it a pepeha, your whakapapa, your family um, origins and, and wanting to make that not necessarily about um, where you are now because that isn't really the Maori way so let's say you come from India so you could still take that idea and um, and see in your own ancestry what that would be was there a mountain was there a river and I have always thought that this was um, kind of just <laughs> sort of a Maori thing and that didn't apply to me but somebody in our class actually a young man said um, something that really touched me and he said well all the different indigenous peoples of all the different lands throughout the world um, whether whether they were you know in Europe or Asia or Africa or the Americas or Oceania or wherever they were um, would have been looking for a mountain and a river like those are actually the things that our forebears would have been looking for so at, for those two simple things at least it really helped me to think wow yeah that isn't just a Maori thing that would have been true of because they were wanting a water source and they were wanting um, for various reasons the river to do with the mountain is often connected um, or, or something to do with the mountain might, might, or hill might have been to do with protection um, but, but that would be quite a typical thing so I just wanted to let you know about that and encourage you to look back into your own if you haven't got any Māori roots look back into your own um, ancestry as I've been doing and um, ask the, your family members if you don't know anything about it and see whether you can find your spiritual home, your ancestral home. And the other thing that it does, which I really recommend it for, is it helps to see a heart relationship, 
with Maori language because the um, Maori people have a heart relationship with the land and the language and the people and the culture and their history and it's really easy for non Maori and I'm obviously speaking for myself and, the, and any other non Maori who are listening it's really easy for non Maori Pākehā to um, to feel kind of bereft and not feeling like that we have that kind of spiritual connection to the land or whatever and the reason is is because we have been disconnected from it we haven't got the same connection but that doesn't mean we have to stay disconnected that doesn't mean that we can't find that connection and I promise you that it's worth it so I encourage you to look into your own ancestry and see where it leads Kakite.